swizzle. The swizzle is a highly crucial technique involving a rapid exertion of force from the thighs. Although the distance covered by the push blade is short, it demands substantial power. Various subsequent maneuvers will rely on this type of force. Without becoming acquainted with and training this muscle strength, it will be challenging to progress rapidly in the future. Step 1. Keep your toes aligned forward and slightly bend your knees. Step 2. Point your toes and knees outward, pushing to the sides. Step 3. Move to a cone position, bringing your toes and knees inward. Step 4. Return to the toes parallel forward position. Step 1. Keep your toes aligned forward and slightly bend your knees. Step 2. Point your toes and knees outward, pushing to the sides. Step 3. Move to a cone position, bringing your toes and knees inward. Step 4. Return to the toes parallel forward position. Ensure that your toes and knees rotate together simultaneously. Spread your feet to a distance just enough to pass the cone. The closer the distance when you bring your feet inward, the better. However, be sure not to let your toes touch. Incorrect motion. The toes are not turning inward, and the knees and toes are not moving in sync. The closer the distance when you bring your feet inward, the better. However, make sure your toes do not touch. The toes extend too far beyond the cone, missing the optimal moment to bring them together. When the feet are too far apart while open, it's not easy to bring them back together, and it will slow you down. The knees and feet should be equally spaced. The knees should open outward simultaneously, otherwise, it's difficult to gain speed on the inner edge. The strength disparity between the two feet is too significant, causing the center of gravity to easily shift. And it shouldn't go beyond the middle line. Both feet should apply force simultaneously. One foot applies force, while the other foot does not. The two feet are not exerting force simultaneously, there is a noticeable time gap. Body stability is important, excessive weight shifting can lead to instability. Please squat with your knees, not by bending at the waist. Bow stop. Extend your feet outward, incline your body forward, make a slight inward turn with your toes, and softly tighten your knees while pressing down.